Hi, Internet Grandpa here, and today we're going to read Sheila Ray the Brave. Before we begin, reach down, click like, and subscribe. It tells YouTube you like these sorts of videos, and they'll put more of them in your feed. Now, let's begin. Sheila Ray wasn't afraid of anything. She wasn't afraid of the dark. She wasn't afraid of thunder and lightning. And she wasn't afraid of the big black dog at the end of the block. At dinner, Sheila Ray made believe that the cherries in her fruit cocktail were the eyes of dead bears. And she ate five of them. At school, Sheila Ray giggled when the principal walked by. And when her classmate Wendell stole her jump rope during recess, Sheila Ray tied him up until the bell rang. I'm very brave, Sheila Ray said, patting herself on the back. Sheila Ray stepped on every crack in the sidewalk without fear. When her sister, Louise, said there was a monster in the closet, Sheila Ray attacked it. And she rode her bicycle, no-handed, with her eyes closed. Yay, yay, Sheila Ray, her friends yelled, clapping their hands. One day, Sheila Ray decided to walk home from school a new way. Louise was afraid to. You're too brave for me, Louise said. You're always such a scaredy cat, Sheila Ray called. Am not, whispered Louise. Sheila Ray started off skipping. I'm brave, she sang. I'm fearless. She stepped on every crack. She walked backwards with her eyes closed. She growled at stray dogs and bared her teeth at stray cats. And she pretended that the trees were evil creatures. She climbed up in them and broke their fingers off. Snap, snap, snap. Sheila Ray walked and walked. She turned corners. She crossed streets. It suddenly occurred to Sheila Ray that Nothing looked familiar. Sheila Ray had heard frightening noises. They sounded worse than thunder. She thought horrible thoughts. They were worse than anything she had ever imagined. I am brave, Sheila Ray tried to convince herself. I am fearless. The sounds became more frightening. The thoughts became more horrible. Sheila Ray sat down on a rock and cried. Help, she sniffed. <laughs> she thought of her mother and father and Louise. Mother, father, Louise, she cried. Here I am, a voice said. Louise, Sheila Ray hugged her sister. We're lost, Sheila Ray said. No, we're not, said Louise. I know the way home. Follow me. Louise stepped on every crack. She walked backwards with her eyes closed. She growled at stray dogs and bared her teeth at stray cats. And she pretended that the trees were evil creatures. She jumped up and broke their fingers off. Snap, snap, snap. Sheila Ray walked quietly behind her. They walked and walked. They crossed streets. They turned corners. Soon, their house could be seen between the trees. Sheila Ray grabbed Louise and dashed up the street. When they reached their own yard and the gate was closed behind them, Sheila Ray said, Louise, you are brave. You are fearless. 
We both are, said Louise. And they walked backwards into the house with their eyes closed. <laughs> wow, what a couple of brave girls. <laughs> I love the artwork in these books. I hope you liked it. As our friend Tigger says, ta-ta for now. Love you guys. Bye-bye.